In this video, you'll learn how to properly use the Zoom virtual background feature on an iPhone, and we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Brian White and welcome back to Video Zeus. On this channel, we make weekly tutorials to help educators and creators spend less time making more videos. If that sounds like you, then smash that subscribe button now. Whether it's for fun or for business, virtual backgrounds in Zoom are a must to add an element of engagement to otherwise dull video calls. And you can carry over the same shenanigans directly onto your iPhone by activating virtual backgrounds inside the Zoom Cloud Meetings app. And if by chance your computer or laptop isn't compatible for virtual backgrounds without a green screen, your iPhone is a workable alternative as the feature works on iPhone 8 or better and the iPhone SE. Zoom virtual backgrounds will not work on iPhone 7 or older and virtual backgrounds can be used with or without a Zoom account. Now, for the most part, it's quite simple to use virtual backgrounds, but there are a few items to highlight to ensure a proper understanding of what you have at your fingertips. In order for virtual backgrounds to work inside Zoom meetings with participants, the virtual background feature must first be enabled inside the account of a meeting host. Once inside the account, navigate to settings, then down here a bit, you'll need to click on this button to enable all users to replace their backgrounds. Now, let's launch our Zoom mobile app, sign in if you have an account, or enter a meeting ID if you don't, and join your meeting. Once inside the meeting, you'll click on the menu icon in the right corner, and then select virtual background. This will launch a preview monitor, allowing you to select or add a new background. So now let's focus our attention on the buttons below. You can upload up to three images at a time into your virtual background gallery. Right now, I just have this one right here. We can add another by clicking on this plus icon, selecting an image, clicking done, and now we have the image as our background. And when we add a third image, you will see that we no longer have the option to add more images. Now to delete an image, select it and click on remove. Once we have our desired image background, we'll click on close to enter ourselves back into the meeting with our virtual background enabled. Now, depending on the background image you chose, it likely won't fit the screen properly when holding your phone in a vertical orientation. If you flip your phone and hold it horizontally, your Zoom call will flip with it. Doing this will reveal more of your virtual background. So you'll have to decide what setup is best for you. And speaking of holding phones, that can certainly get tiring. Instead, consider picking up a smartphone tripod adapter just like this one. It attaches to any tripod, fits any phone, and can swivel to vertical or horizontal orientation, all in an effort to keep it hands-free so you can conduct a better Zoom meeting. Now that you have the virtual background feature at your disposal, you'll want to watch this video next to see some of the best backgrounds the internet has to offer. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.